last time on Mecha Mondays. Loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Catch a Zaku crossing your path? Boom! It's dead. So, we're finally past the halfway point, and it's about time you learn about the enemy's evil plot going into Mission 6. I'll let the general explain it. According to data left behind, this diabolical weapon is codenamed Astaroth. Yep, you heard that right. The Xeon have a deadly bioweapon called Astaroth. Exterminate! So, the mission starts like any other, but your team is actually stepping into a trap. You'll square off against the dome mobile suits for the first time, as well as a strange-looking enemy hovercraft. However, once the mission is over, a support team arrives but is unable to retrieve the bioweapon. So, Astaroth wins? Who's next? Moving right along to Mission 7, the White Dingo team goes to the famous Torrington base, which was prominently featured in the shows Gundam 0083 and Gundam Unicorn. It's also where the Federation stores their super-secret nuclear weapons. This causes concern for one of your squad members. Lieutenant, if they steal those nukes and use them, it'll have a huge effect on the war situation, not only around here, but also around the globe. <laughs> Oh boy, he has no idea what's going to happen in four years. Oh no. <laughs> Anyways, this mission is really easy. Just clear Torrington base of the enemy units and call it a day. Alright, so now things are really starting to heat up, with mission 8 being the second to last level of the entire game. Instead of just killing off a few enemy units, you have to take out an entire enemy fortress. Yeah, just look at all the red on that map, it's insane. Also, this is a nighttime mission, so I apologize if the game footage is a little hard to see. Once you clear the base of gun turrets, tanks, and mobile suits, you'll get a surprise boss fight against arguably one of the most bizarre looking machines ever conceived. This ugly looking mobile armor is called the Adzam, and you're going to want to destroy it as quickly as possible because no one should have to gaze upon its unpleasant appearance for very long. At long last, it's the final mission of the game, and for the grand finale, your entire squad gets equipped with GM Sniper mobile suits, which boast excellent stats overall, but sadly, no sniper rifles. Seriously? You're gonna give us the GM Sniper and not give us the Sniper Rifles? <sighs> Your final objective is to destroy these HLV rockets that are trying to evacuate the remaining enemy force into outer space. However, before you can do that, you remember that ace pilot from Mission 2? The Goof Pilot? Yeah, he's back for blood, and this time he's got a Gelgoog mobile suit and a beam rifle. But thankfully, he's no harder than the last time you fought him. Just engage him in melee combat to prevent him from using his beam rifle, and hack and slash your way to victory. Easy peasy. There's also a pesky mobile armor, but it's not too hard. Just keep moving, because if you stand still, it will kill you. And now, with those two enemy units out of the way, it's time to go blow up spaceships. Yay! It's actually really boring, to be honest. It takes like 20 hits to destroy one of them. Ugh. And with the rockets out of the way, that's it. The game's over. You get a nice little cutscene where the Xeon surrender, but other than that, roll credits. So, what are my final thoughts on Gundam for the Sega Dreamcast? Well, for starters, I really enjoyed this game. It's not every day you come across a giant robot game that lets you sit inside the cockpit. That first-person perspective, though challenging, is exactly what I would imagine a real-life Gundam would feel like. Now, on the other hand, I do wish this game was a bit longer. It's only nine missions, and you can actually beat the game in under an hour. But that was my only real complaint for this game. I had a great time playing it, and I hope you go out and get the chance to play it as well. That's all I have for Mecha Mondays. Thanks for sticking around for this three-part review, and I'll catch you next time.